For hundreds of years, the Brits and the French alike fantasized about a tunnel that could connect mainland Europe to the British Isles. Even before cars or trains, they sketched proposals for terrifying, horsepower tunnels that would drown everyone if there was so much as a light storm in the English Channel. They tried digging one such tunnel in the 1880s, and then stopped because the Brits realized they didn't want French people coming over, and then they tried again in the 1920s, before the Brits remembered they didn't want French people coming over, and then finally in the late 1980s, they did it. This is the Channel, otherwise known as the Channel Tunnel if you're bourgeois enough for an extra two syllables. Running 30 miles or 50 kilometers across the English Channel, this railway tunnel acts as the only fixed point connection between the UK and mainland Europe, a critically important piece of infrastructure for governments, corporations, and tourists. But this tunnel also presents one huge problem. Its very existence created a legal loophole that could get anyone into the UK without ever owning a passport or speaking to a single border agent. And it turns out, that loophole is also quite hard to close. To understand how this exploit works, or I should say worked until they figured out what can be generously described as a solution, we need to talk about trains. Specifically, this train. Apart from freight trains and a car transport service called Le Shuttle, there's only a single passenger train that uses the tunnel to travel between mainland Europe and the UK. That's the Eurostar. Their tunnel services cross four international borders and connect four different countries – the UK, France, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Now, running a train service between those last three countries is pretty trivial. All three are part of the Schengen area, which is basically a socioeconomic cuddle puddle. All of these countries have abolished border controls with one another, so you can travel between any of them without a passport. The UK, however, was never part of Schengen, even when they were in the EU. So while these borders are just for fun, this border is very much not for fun. It's for keeping Europeans out, because they might smuggle in food that tastes good. Basically, all of this is just to say that you don't need a passport for this whole part of the route, but you do need a passport to get through this tunnel. And at first blush, this doesn't seem like it should be a problem at all. You just let people travel freely along these routes here, spreading their European nonsense as they please, and if they end up riding the Eurostar all the way to the UK, then you just have them go through border controls there. 